Hi, everyone. I uh, just wanted to go over using Pro Tools with online jamming software Sonobus. Um, I wanted to show you how to do multi track recording of live instruments, you know, coming remotely. So I'm just going to give you a quick run through of setting up the tracks and setting up the outputs. It's uh, pretty straightforward, but right now I'm just running my talkback mic through Pro Tools. So you'll see one tr aux track here with some compression and EQ. Um, so let's say that I have a remote drummer and guitarist, and I'm going to be playing bass locally. Uh, I would start off by just making my audio track for my bass. I'm using a pretty big interface. I'm using the Focusrite Claret 8 Pre-X, which has, you know, 16 channels of inputs and outputs. Uh, most of you may be just using, you know, a standard two-channel in, two-channel out which is fine because all you'd need is a microphone input and, you know, an in instrument input depending on what you're doing. So in my case, it's just a bass and a microphone. So channel one and channel two are coming in. Um, I like to run my bass through a software amp called Amplitude, which I, I highly recommend. So I load that up. So I pull up a little Ampeg amp here. Okay, make sure I got signal there. Sounds good. Now, um, the next thing I do is I start a new aux channel for the Sonobus plugin. So I just go new, aux input, I do stereo. Okay. And then just pick a slot of your inserts up here. Um, usually it shows up under the other tab here. And just I just do a stereo Sonobus. Okay. Then what we're going to do is we're going to connect to our friends here through a private group. And I've just named it Benjamin. Give yourself a name. Okay. So I have to reset some of the jitter buffers here. All right. So right now we have a drum drummer remotely and a guitarist remotely um, and you'll see their their latency which we can kind of play with here until that kind of resets itself so now the next step uh, which is the most important is actually routing each of these individual players out to their own channels so let's create two new stereo channels stereo and this is going to differ from different softwares, but in Pro Tools, you can actually set the input of a channel coming from the, the plugin itself. So on our first channel, we're just going to call it drums. And then our second one, we'll call it guitar. You can pick the input, and then you go down to plugin, pick that Sonobus plugin. And there's going to be eight slots, um, including your own output, out of the plugin. Um, they kind of can shift around, which is kind of a pain, but for now, uh, you know, you pick user one will be the guitar and user two will be the drum. So for our drum track, we'll choose user two or guitar track user one. Record. There's our drums. There's guitar. You can actually mix them down here. Now you see, you notice how I have the uh, main channel muted here. Um, that's because I don't want this mix from Sonobus to come out. The individual audio tracks will come out at full volume into these other channels, so you don't need to worry about your mix and your panning inside of here. Uh, and I actually turn off monitoring as well because I don't want my own bass to go to go through there. So the next step uh, is actually routing your bass and your microphone into Sonobus. The way that I have it set up on an aux, I need to set that input. So I use a bus. So bus one and two will be the input of this aux, this aux channel here. So to get that to go over it, let's just send my microphone first to bus one and two. And I'd like to expand this out. And then my bass as well. And you can just put that right all the way up there. Now, the one trick too is I, I put this on pre-fader mode. That way that this mix going into the people in Sonobus is not affected by my mix at the bottom here uh, so that I can make my own headphone mix of my audio and I'll keep it separate from what they're hearing on their end so I this won't affect them 
it's very helpful for when you're trying to get your own mix versus what they hear over there. So everything should be routed now and my bass should be going over to them. So I can get my own little mix going here. And then you just can hit record. Say you're done for the session and or if you want to just have them stop playing and then you have all the different independent tracks here so you can play that back make edits do editing and compression and export that all now let's say that you um you know you're not as technical savvy with the with the daw and you don't really want to mess around with all this routing and you just want to go straight into the the, pro, the program you can still set up you know your bass and your vocal the same way that I just showed you. But instead of recording into Pro Tools, they did come with a feature in the Sonobus plugin for recording. Now, straight out of the box, if you just hit record, it's going to take you whatever mix you have going on in Sonobus and just make a, a two-track output. But there is in settings, there's some recording settings here. So you can change the, the, the path where it's recording and it kind of creates a folder for you as you go. And then as well as you know, the output format and the uh, bit rate. But what is also nice is that you have the ability to record each connected user separately. So it's kind of doing the same thing as what I showed you here. Uh, instead, though, it's just putting it into this folder. If you're going to do that, I would try to record to wave um, and then match the bit of your session that you're using. That way, when you drag it in, it doesn't have to actually convert it uh, to, you know, convert it to a different format. If you're just using it uh, to save two-track mixes and you don't really need to edit them, um, you can just use these other formats as well, which will compress down and you know be smaller files. I prefer using 16 or 24-bit WAV files for my sessions. But yeah, that's just another option you have if you don't really want to continue recording inside of your DAW. But the, the, the advantage you have of doing it the way I'm showing you is that you have independent controls here right away so that you could play back you know to the band the take that you guys just did right away and then you can also make edits on the fly uh you know say you're, you need to loop something you can kind of create it as a recording session and you know vibe out ideas where i could actually play back the guitar drum bass mix and have our vocalist you know sing an idea right you know right in real time and record him separately on top of it it just makes uh kind of that kind of process a lot easier if that's what you're looking to do. If you're just looking for online jamming and you just want to like archive, you know, for fun, like a jam that you guys did, you may not need all this, you know, flexibility. But for me, I will use these things later and, and chop them up. Uh, this is like a lifesaver for, you know, recording people remotely. Uh, it's definitely like a new technology that I'm, you know, embarking on that never had that ability before. So it's pretty exciting, and the quality coming from Sonobus, um, you know, I didn't really talk about it earlier, but you should be sending a PCM 16-bit or 24-bit if you're going to be doing a lot of recording, because that way you're not going to have, like, the compression artifacts and things. Uh, the quality will be much better. You also will get low, lower latency when you're using the PCM 16-bit, uh, because uh, it doesn't have to take the time to actually, you know, encode the audio. But you have to have enough bandwidth to be able to send uncompressed audio. So that's the only limitation to that. So one other thing I didn't really mention uh, during the setup is when you do want to actually play back um, audio to your, your remote people, your bandmates, you will have to route your new channels that we created back to them. Now, there's a word of warning here. Um, if you're going to route back these channels that we created, you do want to mute... Um, you want to mute that send when you have them in record mode. Otherwise, you're going to be sending them their signal back to them, and it's going to be very obnoxious for them. They're going to hear their, their themselves delayed. So um, you kind of have to, the way I normally do it is when I am uh, recording, I just mute the send. So you just want to send, you know, the same way that we set up the bass and the, and the uh, 
the talk back, you can just send those faders back. Now keep those in non pre fader mode. And the reason is, um, that way when you mute these channels, it will, you know, follow and also it'll follow your mix down here back to them. Um, so when you are going to record, activate them, just, you know, mute those sends. And there's other more, you know, advanced ways that you can kind of group this all together into one aux and, you know, there's a, there's a couple of different options. I've also, uh, used it to where you can create a whole nother like sono bus instance. Like say like we have another aux, we create another sono bus. You can connect this one back with your mix so that they have control over that, you know, that other, other mix coming back. So these are two, you can set these up as two separate instruments coming back into sono bus for them. Um, when you do it this way, there is, um, some caveats to that. Um, which it's kind of out of the scope of right now, this video, but in short, you want to just make sure this second Sono bus, you mute everything coming back and you just got to be careful having too many things kind of duplicated and sending back to your, your own mix and sending to them. So, um, I can create another video on the more specifics on that, but yeah, so that's kind of how to get audio from your mix back to people because otherwise they're just going to hear your bass part. They're not going to hear the drums and bass that they recorded. Um, so I hope this helps you guys. Um, if you have any questions, you can put the comments below or reach out to me. Thanks.